Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, we are trying out cannabis infused makeup. I really wanted to do this video to not only learn about what cannabis in beauty products even means, like what are the benefits? Is it even worth paying extra for? And I wanted to do that research with you guys so we could learn more about it. And then I also have a couple products from two different brands that have cannabis in them. And not only do I wanna see like what it adds to the makeup, but just as makeup products in general, I wanna see if they're even worth your money. So I really hope that you guys find this video interesting. I hope you find it helpful. And I also hope that you do love this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so I, it's interesting the days we're living in. I did not think that we were gonna be doing a video like this. Uh, I hope it's not, you know, controversial or anything like that. Obviously we're not doing anything illegal here, but I will leave some timestamps in the description because I first wanted to like talk about the benefits of cannabis and then I'm gonna test out the products because I feel like a lot of people don't really understand like why is there like cannabis and makeup like what does it even do so I found some uh, information online that I kind of wanted to share with you guys in case you are interested but if you're not interested you can always skip to the actual like reviewing the products if you want to so definitely go in the description and I will leave timestamps but it's a quick disclaimer I obviously don't condone any illegal activity nothing like that I just feel like we with any trend, I feel like makeup companies, really every company at this point, kind of hops on a trend and sometimes some companies will slap on a name or just add an ingredient or a graphic and make that like more sellable, like a palette like this. So obviously CBD, cannabis, all that has been pretty trendy ever since it's been legalized and there has been so many benefits that's been found from it. So not only do I wanna like learn more about it, but I also wanna see like, is this actually a good product or is it just like trendy and it's not actually worth the hype. This is not the only product that I have. I have products from Makeup Revolution and NYX. Let's get to what I found. I've been reading up a lot about it. I wanted to give you guys a lot of information. I didn't want to just test out the products. I actually found a website that I learned a lot about, so I'm actually just going to be putting on the screen what I'm reading, but this is from the brand Botanics, and I believe it's just a skincare line that has cannabis in it, and I found some parts of their website that really like explained what it is, why it is in products and things like that. So there is gonna be a lot of reading. So like I said, I will put it right here. But just to start off, a lot of people are like, well, what's the difference between marijuana and hemp and CBD and all that stuff? Because I know for a while you have probably seen like hemp lotion and things like that. So I found this thing right here that says that understanding the differences between cannabis, hemp, and marijuana can be confusing because marijuana and hemp come from the same plant, cannabis sativa. The distinction is a variety of the plant. So in the case of cannabis, the varieties differ in the amount of THC that they contain. THC in a plant is what makes people feel a certain way and what's actually illegal in most of this country. So hemp generally contains very little to no psychoactive effects. So that's where it differs. I know a lot of people might think um, if I put this on my face, am I gonna feel weird? Like, just remember that that ingredient, the THC, is what makes people feel different, if you know what I mean. I'm trying not to get like demonetized. These products specifically all say that they're infused with cannabis sativa. I noticed that in all these makeup products, it says specifically that they have cannabis sativa seed oil. So I really wanted to know like, well, what are the actual benefits from that specifically? So it says that this oil oil and skincare products have grown popularity over the past few years as a result in increasing customer interest in using the power of plants in skincare formulations, which is actually one of the reasons why I'm so interested in this. It's from a plant, it is natural, and I love anything that's natural and not like chemically made. So it says that this is a naturally green oil composed of 90% omega fatty acids. I did not know that. And unlike CBD oil, the cannabis sativa seed oil is mainly found in skincare products thanks to its powerful hydrating properties and abundant 
antioxidants. We're almost done with reading. I can leave the extra slides that I have up here for you guys if you wanna pause it and keep reading. I just don't wanna bore you guys anymore. But pretty much it says that stress is often the part of everyday life that can affect your skin in very many ways, which can be like visible signs of aging, dehydration to irritation, dullness, and uneven skin tone and texture. So cannabis sativa seed oil tackles the signs of stress skin by calming and smoothing and reducing the appearance of redness. So it also acts as a super moisturizer that intensively nourishes and regenerates sensitive and tired skin and helps to support the skin natural moisture barrier. It contains properties that will soothe, calm skin. Unlike other oils, it will not clog your pores and it is suitable for more, most skin types. So I think that's really, really awesome. And lastly, it also says that it is non-acnegenic and it can help balance out oily skin, hydrating it, and regulating the skin's oil production. So like I said, there is so much about it. And um, you know, if you wanna just keep reading, I can link the website down below. Again, they actually sell skincare, which I actually have never tried, but I really wanted to know more about this because I guess the whole point of this video is, do the makeup products that we're testing actually like make a difference if it has that oil or are we just paying extra because of it and you won't really see a difference so that's kind of the whole point of the video and also are they good products or not so i actually tried a lot of these products out already because i wanted to give you guys more of a review but there will be some first impressions so nyx actually came out with a whole collection i can link it down below but there are a lot of products i kind of wanted to test out different products from different brands, but let's take a look at this spray. So this is called the Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Multitasking Spray. It is $10 and it does have 4.4 fluid ounces. Okay, so it does say that this multitasking spray is infused with aloe and cucumber extract, and this is also sensitive skin friendly for, again, priming, setting, and refreshing. It's supposed to deliver a dewy burst of hydration with every spritz. I am on the actual collection website. I will put this up here. It does say that the products that do have the cannabis sativa seed oil is for soothing, hydrating benefits. It is infused with hemp-derived soothing cannabis sativa seed oil and centella acetica. I don't know what that means. Extract for 24 hours hydrated happy skin. I have been trying the spray out and I really, really enjoy it. Look at the spray on this. I have actually have been really enjoying it. I feel like this setting spray is a really good, just like a go-to setting spray. It definitely adds hydration to my skin, but it doesn't make it super dewy. And I think that's awesome actually, because I do think that this would work for a lot of skin types. I think it gives you hydration without making you greasy or dewy, and there's no shimmer on it. It really has such a fine mist. It really coats your face so evenly and beautiful. I never get splotches. I actually think that that's a really good price considering it has 4.39 fluid ounces. I do think that this is a pretty big bottle. I like the setting spray. It's a good primer, a good refresher, and a good setter. I guess that the seed oil is what adds to the hydration. And I really like it. Like I said, it's a really nice hydrating feel without being like overdone. So I do recommend this and I think it's great and I like it. I don't think it's overpriced and I really like it. So next, let's move on to Makeup Revolution because this is actually the, my favorite product that I have tried. This is actually the Makeup Revolution High Brow Gel Cannabis Sativa, and I did get the shade Medium Brown. So on the Revolution website, it says that this is $7. The colored formula comes in three shades. Not a good shade range, but it does come in an ash brown, medium brown, and dark brown. Your brows will peel fuller and infused with cannabis sativa oil will help to nourish and protect the hairs. Uh, vegan and cruelty free. This is what the seed oil is going to help. So it's gonna help nourish and protect the hairs. So like I said, I do like the beauty products that are actually doing something. I guess what I'm getting at is that I don't understand what a eyeshadow palette will do by having those benefits, but we'll get there in a minute. So I've been trying out this brow gel for about a week or two now, and 
it's actually like my new favorite. It is so, so good. I really wish it came in more shades. The brush applicator is tiny, which is something that I love, and it's also skinny, so it's not super chunky. Formula is really, really nice. It is very pigmented, very easy to work with. The brush is super, super easy to work with, and I've actually tried this out multiple times to go to the gym with, and this is like completely waterproof. I don't think it actually claims that it's waterproof, but, or you know, maybe be sweat resistant I don't want to call it waterproof but anytime I go to the gym and I wear this it doesn't come off at all and actually for 4th of July I wore this and I did swim and it didn't come off and it's so so nice Something else that I noticed that I actually do like is that this makes your brows a little bit stiff, which I've only found some drugstore brow gels to do that. Mainly the high-end ones are the ones that like make them super stiff. I personally do prefer that because once you put them in place, they stay. As of now, I haven't reached for any other brow gel because this is just so, so good and it's $7. Again, it's very unfortunate that it doesn't have more than three shades. I do give this a thumbs up and I think it's cool Cool that the oil will nourish my eyebrows why not so I'm actually going to apply my eye primer and I'm going to apply the mascara so you guys can actually see it and then I will apply the eyeshadow so I am going to curl my lashes if you're wondering I do use the Kevin Aquan eyelash curler and I just want to give you guys a disclaimer I like to give these disclaimers all the times in case I do have newer viewers I do use an eyelash serum for my lashes so you might think that the mascara is good but i just i personally have pretty long lashes if you're interested in the lash serum that i use i will link it down below with all the products so this is called the blowout mascara with cannabis sativa and here is the brush so this is $10, it has 25 reviews and they're all 5 stars on the Revolution website. Also on the Ulta website where I actually bought it, it had really really good reviews. So the description is that this is a volume mascara that is a must have. The jet black formula is enriched with cannabis sativa. The dense bristle brush layers each and every eyelash creating thicker and more voluminous lashes. And it says tip, coat with a couple layers for a more dramatic powerful eye look and it is cruelty free. So this this is two coats. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is the third time that I've used this mascara and it's not really my favorite. A lot of people love this mascara, so you know, just because I don't like it doesn't mean you won't. First layer will give you a very pretty but very natural feathery, wispy look. If you're into that, then you might really like this, but I prefer something a little bit more dramatic. But when I do go in with the second coat, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do get pretty spidery lashes, which is fine. It's just not my preference. Since the bristles are so flimsy, it doesn't actually separate my lashes very well in the second coat. It does start getting a little bit messy. So if you're more interested in a more natural, wispy, feathery look, then you might really like this. And you know, with the seed oil, I'm sure it conditions your lashes, but for me, it's just not something that I will reach for probably at all, unfortunately. It's just not very good. For me, um, I will pass on this one. So let's look at this. I think the packaging is really pretty. I love the colors that Revolution has done with this whole collection. And I also like how NYX kept it like super clean and classy. So I love both. So here's the packaging. It does come in a tin packaging. This is what it looks like. Obviously, as you guys can see, a lot of green shades and a couple transition shades, and it does have a mirror. If you guys know me at all, you know that I probably would never buy this palette. I bought it for video purposes, but I don't ever look for green shades. I don't really do a lot of colorful looks, but I know that some of you guys do like colorful looks and some of you guys love green. So that's kind of why I bought it, just to tell you guys if it's worth your money. So it's actually pretty affordable. So again, it is a Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Chilled with Cannabis Sativa Shadow Palette. It does have 78 reviews and it has five stars and it is $15. It has 18 earthy toned matte shimmers and pressed glitter powder shadows. It is infused with nourishing cannabis sativa seed oil. Powder shadows have a strong buildable pigments. It didn't really say what the cannabis sativa oil is for and that's kind of like 
again, that's kind of like what annoys me. It's like, tell me why you put it in there. Like, what are the actual benefits? But like I said, if you just like the packaging and you like green shadows, I'm just gonna let you guys know if it's worth it. So I kind of want to swatch just a couple shades just to see what we're working with. So here's a little bit of a close up. You know, swatches don't always look the best, but you shouldn't judge a palette by its swatch. I'm going to speed this part up from the video because I don't want it to be too long, but I will be showing you all the shades that I'm using. Okay guys, I am back. I had the hardest time applying fake lashes over this glitter. Am I obsessed with the palette? No, obviously like I said, this is not typically my shade range, but even aside from the shades, um, I do think that the shimmers are very pretty. As you guys can see, they're very reflective. The only thing I had a little bit of trouble with are the mattes. So these shades right here are, um, they're very nice, very soft and buttery, but they do take a lot, a lot of layers to build up. So if you don't mind that, then I think that you will like this palette. But if you like pigment right off the bat with the transition shades, it will take you a lot of building up. Um, I do think it created a really nice look. I think it has really good transition shades to work with green shade. I will say the glitters are very, very pretty, but please use a glitter primer. Um, I figured I would just try it on its own, but it did get everywhere. Am I obsessed with the palette? No. Do I think it's a good palette? It's $15. It has a cool design and like aspect to it sure if you if you're interested in this palette for more than just the formula I think that it's worth it but if you're looking for like the best formula of green shades I would probably skip out on this one but I think as a whole I do think it's affordable it's nice it's pigmented and it's cute so we have come to the last product which is actually from NYX this is the NYX bear with me cannabis sativa jelly cheek color and this is in the shade rum punch Look at that. So this only has three stars out of five on the website and it is $10. I do have six different shades. It says that it is a hydrated flush face just to tap away with this product. It is infused with hemp derived cannabis sativa seed oil known for its soothing and hydrating benefits. This buildable cheek tint features a gel formula that feels amazing on your face as it does on your fingers. I've actually tried this on my bare skin. I liked it, but I felt like when you rubbed it out, it didn't really leave a lot of pigment so this is like kind of scary it literally is a very very soft jelly like I don't know if you guys can tell I do have um, concealer foundation and cream bronzer and I haven't set anything because I've actually have never tried this over makeup only on my bare skin you start blending it out and it kind of almost blends into nothing so obviously you could stop blending at a certain point but if you do want to get like a blended look you have to keep keep on blending but like I said I haven't tried it on with makeup I'm kind of scared I'm not gonna lie grab a little bit on my brush and maybe put it on my hand a little bit like this okay it's definitely showing more up on makeup Oh, okay. Okay, this is looking pretty cute actually. It's just like I said, on bare face, it was really like blending out into nothing. 
but I feel like since I do have makeup under, it's like it has something to hold on to. Obviously, this shade doesn't go with this makeup look. Please ignore that. But guys, I put on a very, very, very small amount and it is giving me a really pretty flush look. So literally, I that dent is from my nail. So I literally barely touched it. So I feel like this could last you your literal lifetime. I do like looking burnt. Okay, so that is what that looks like. It actually is giving me a lot of dew, but what I like about it is that it's not super um, shimmery. I like it matte or luminous, but not shimmery. So this actually looks really, really pretty. Alrighty guys, so makeup is done. I am quickly going to set the face. So first, let me just tell you guys what my stand-up products wear. Um, I think that my favorite, favorite product from everything that I tried was definitely the brow gel. Um, I know it's just brow gel, but it's really nice. It's really long-lasting. It's very pigmented, and it comes with really great packaging. Something else that I really liked was the setting spray. I just think that if you're looking for a primer set or refresher that's not going to alter the outcome of your makeup um, maybe just add a little bit of hydration without looking greasy I really enjoy this I think that this will work for a lot of you and then the other product that really surprised me was this blush because I truly thought because it was so jelly like that it might mess up my makeup but honestly I think it looks really gorgeous and I actually didn't even put any highlight on and I think it gave me such a beautiful glow from within like I didn't see the need to put highlight like this really looks really beautiful so I guess my final thoughts on this cannabis infused dealio is I really really want to try out some skincare that has CBD or cannabis stevia oil I just said stevia sativa because it has so many benefits and I definitely want to test them out for myself and when it comes to makeup I think that if you're really interested in the benefits of the seed oil try products like this that will actually go on your skin or products like this that will nourish your eyebrows um, like I said with the eyeshadow palette I don't necessarily see where are you getting these benefits from? So like I said, if you think this is cool and you just wanna buy it, buy it. But if you really wanna get the benefits, I say be more strategic with what kind of products you do get. Overall, I am very, very happy with this video. I honestly learned a lot about CBD and cannabis oil that can be really, really helpful and really nice, especially in beauty products. And yeah, like I said, I liked a lot of these products. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it informative. I hope you enjoyed it and definitely comment down below like always come say hi and just let me know your thoughts let me know your thoughts and your knowledge and your opinions on this and yeah I hope that y'all enjoyed it thank you guys so so much for watching I love you all very very much thank you for 60,000 subscribers and I will see you guys in my next video bye